we we'll start with the captain, Ian. Can you put that into words? Phenomenal performance, first of all, but to get over the line, this is the one you've been dreaming about. Yeah, it's it's real. Like it's something that I suppose I've been on the road for the last maybe seven or eight years, which isn't a long time. But for me, I, I, you'd wonder w- would it ever come that we'd actually make that step? We've always been told we're there, thereabouts. The likes of Beggs, who was on the road nearly 15, 16 years, and then you've Barry O'Grady again, who. Who, who's on the road longer so for those guys to keep coming back and to keep coming back like it's, it's so special to be a part of it I, I don't think it's going to hit us for a while the fact that my uncle Jerry I think was on the last scene of playing senior that was 40 years ago so to be a part of that is so so special to finally make that gap and as we've said getting up there is the hardest part we'll be fine once we get there but we finally made that step now thank God I think just the manner of the performance as well tactically you had everything spot on the game plan was well executed at times there some of the play was absolutely beautiful and, and bore the fruits of of plenty of goals as well and, and, and worked up a really strong lead going into to half time you must be pleased with all the everything that you put in in train and all the work behind the scenes paying off in, in a beautiful performance. It was definitely emphatic and that's something that we pride ourselves on is that we play to our standard so it didn't matter what Captain Moore brought that, that we'd bring the game that we play and that it wasn't enough to win, we wanted to win inside and it's great to see it clicking but I think it's testament to the training there, Liam Cronin is the best coach that I've ever played with and we're blessed to have him in the club, he's, he's above club level to be honest with you, he's inter-county standard and I think that performance there today, a lot of it is down to him definitely. A word on Cap Moore, obviously Liam's a, a Cap Moore man himself, but a word on Cap Moore because he tasted this last year against Kildimo Palace Kenry. Not a, not a nice feeling, obviously a bit closer in your game last year, but just a word on, on Cap Moore. They, they brought a lot of fight to the game at least. You see the margins, they're so fine. So like we're obviously ecstatic now, we're absolutely delighted. But then you, you compare Cap Moore then and they're coming at it from the other end of the spectrum and it's, it's heartbreaking and you, you put in so much and the way the club game has gone, we give so much of our lives to it that it, it's heartbreaking when you don't read the rewards, but they will read the rewards. I think it's only a matter of time. They're, they're a different Cap Moore team in that they're younger, and I, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them coming up next year or the year after. Uh, yourself, uh, um, your captain was aging you there, so I think a small age, bit, yeah. but uh, look, I, you could see it even in the manner of your performance as well. There wasn't a ball you were letting by you today. You weren't going to let this moment slip. Yeah, that's the thing, like, we've been, as Keen pointed out, I've been on the road maybe a couple, like, 14th, 13 years I'd say I'm at the senior team now and there was a run of four or five years there where we were just that one step to get make the jump up to senior. So um like we're just delighted. We're just absolutely delighted to be honest. It hasn't sung in like we were running frozen pitches in January and stuff like that, meeting up in our pods through COVID and we really looked, we took the disappointment last year. And it's a credit to the younger boys especially. Professionalism they showed. We were down, obviously we went back to Jerry's yard that night. We were disappointed in the height of COVID, but we said we're gonna win it this year and we're after doing it, we're delighted. I spoke to a lot of, of Mungret fans, a lot of uh, Mungret people behind the scenes ahead of the game and yeah. the general consensus was, was real nerves. They said, we know this team is good enough to do it, we've faith in them, but I suppose over last year and over maybe a couple of near misses, the feeling was nerves. How good does it feel to, to be able to do this for the parish, for everyone but involved behind yeah. the scenes? Look, it's great. We, like, we have the work done and there was nerves around and, like, from the families and stuff like that. There was, <laughs> there was nerves around, but honestly, we had the work done. We were quite confident as a group. We talked ourselves away since the semi-final against Crew, Glen Roo, we know what we were doing. We were confident coming out today, I think the scoreline reflect that, but fairness to more honestly, I think to be back next year. We tasted this last year, it's not easy, but we got the job done and we're over the moon. Just honestly. finally from me, a, a club really moving in the right direction now with a senior side to look up to. You look at the new facilities, you look at the, the amount of houses and estates out around that area and the, the player pool is constantly growing. Yeah. Munger the real team for the present and really much so for the future as well. Yeah, 100 Like, you've sixes up until 14, 16s, so there could be a C or a D team there. That's the numbers we're dealing with with boys and girls below in the club. I suppose if you look at the senior team, they're the tip of the spear as well. We really want to set the bar that we're senior going forward in hurling, and hopefully the football is doing it in years to come. And like, we've the numbers come behind us, we've the talent coming behind us. It's really important now we set the tone at the top of the level there and get up senior. And again, it hasn't sucked in like we're just delighted. Uh, pa, as centre back, how enjoyable is it playing on the team? Like, the movement in the forward line is just exceptional. Yeah, it's unbelievable, and like, like a lot of the boys be saying, I have the free ride there, yeah, sitting in the pocket, yeah, like coming yeah. down, you know. But again, like we work great with scoring all that. You see the work rate from the three boys on top. Our tone, our work rate, our intensity, and the scoring power they have was really set by, we'd say, Lynchy, Nyler, Paulie, and Lenny was in there as well in games gone by. So like, it's very easy back to field when you've that work rate. All the ball that was coming down this side of the field all through the year was under serious pressure, and I suppose we look good getting on it there. But it's the pressure 